go. Crash and flow. Yeah, the problem I, I was seeing is that you have Egyptologists sure. that just about the Egyptology. Okay. And then when they see a vase, they're mm. like, oh, this is a vase. And then they see another vase and they're like, okay, so these guys made vases, right? right? But then when they take the same vases and they give it to, uh, for it to be uh, studied by people who make vases, Mm -hmm. right? And other type, like, I don't know, whatever else, they're like, hey, bro, this one was made by hand. Mm -hmm. This one requires micrometers. It's the same if somebody gave you a car from two different eras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other person is just like... Four wheels, four wheels. Four wheels, four wheels. And you're like dude you know and that's you're right that's yeah. the thing about a. but the guys who make the call mm-hmm. the at the top the egyptologists that say what goes and what doesn't go mm-hmm. what what uh w- even like what threads to follow what theories to validate and and double check and research those guys don't know anything about pottery and they're making no. their and they're like hey look it's bronze age Chisel, hammer, that's it. I don't want to hear anything else. It's also interesting, like, uh, you know what all of us freaking interesting. It's just such a weird area where, like, you know, it's easy to get frustrated at some point. We're mm. like, why isn't anybody looking at yeah, this? Yeah, why are they looking at this? If we are in an escape room, mm-hmm. if this world is an escape room, and you know the last people that were in, they got out or got to a certain level, yeah. and they were able to do X, Y, and Z, Yeah, it's kind of pathetic that we can't get to, like... Shouldn't everyone be paying attention to this? Yeah, like, if you could have, you know... they possibly figure it out uh you got something ringing somebody's using water in yasin's house that's okay no it's my own laptop fan that's revving up for some reason damn all right cool yeah man it's just it gets frustrating after a while because you're like i don't want to go figure this out i wish somebody else spent you know some time figuring this out i think more people should look at it i think they are I what i need to know yeah what i need to know mm-hmm. is what about those dudes that are in the maldives Okay. That had a partnership with Mazda that are trying to develop some of the potential tech mm. that um, that the Egyptians might have been using, using like frequencies and, and mm. vibrations and whatnot. Also, who's making stuff in the Maldives? Well, they're doing it over there because they can they can bend some rules or something. Yeah, there's no laws there. Yeah. It's just... the same way that crypto, like Mauritius became like a crypto haven for a little while. A lot of places did. The yeah. Congo as well. Any place with like currency instabilization yeah, yeah it was yeah. like we should do something our <laughs> currency is already so unstable we can go with crypto um yeah and mauritius is relatively safe it's better than the congo but then mm. i haven't been to the congo no you're not you but yeah not. that being said and you're not going i'm not going not <laughs> i'm going. not going to go check it out i'm pretty yeah. sure there's a travel advisory did you read uh of course you didn't but did you read what uh How tesla uh, man these are some rabbit holes you gotta dig into you just How don't start you? you know about uh tesla yeah and what he thought the pyramids were for uh, uh yeah power generation right yeah, yeah did yeah. i tell you this no damn it, I read it. you read yeah why don't you tell me Dude, I read all the I'm time. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Why are you, why are you not telling me about this stuff? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. It, the, essentially, the whole, there's a theory where the whole of the, of the pyramid and those small little conduits mm. that's built throughout it is possibly an anode and a cathode. Mm. And so they would, essentially a big ass battery. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the limestone outer casing was connected somehow to the charge of it. To, to the to the interior of it if you can have unlimited like a perpetual motion machine yeah it definitely helps to right? like you know you have unlimited energy just all the time dude. all the time so yeah if the if you can use literally the planet's yeah magnetic you know words right right <laughs> <laughs> the guy said the pigeon fucker i mean yeah. that's what that's what that guy did right he had a girlfriend as a pigeon i don't know he might have i don't think he listen if he really loves a pigeon he won't really try to right. Like, you can't sleep really. A pigeon. You can't. Like, you know. Yeah. You know. You like break a pigeon. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like we know what's happening. He just likes looking at it. He pets it. Yeah. Right. You know what? It was some troll. Right. Yeah. They're like, I wish I was as smart as him. You know what? He fucks pigeons. You know what? You're absolutely right. And probably took it. And he's like, I just like. I just like pigeons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't Mike Tyson, where he could just punch that dude in the face. Yeah. And so Nikola Tesla. Here we go. That's why. That's why you know him as a. Uh, 
Pigeon. Well, no, I I know him as the guy he named a car after him. That's all I know him as. But mm. the more I look into this guy, it's just like, oh, you know, we don't have geniuses the way they used to have geniuses. Right. They were like these guys known as geniuses. Now we have like TikTokers and stuff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we we have a few, but I feel like um, they're Ours not are... known. They're not celebrated. Mm. You know. I mean, not in their time. Uh, yeah, well, maybe, you know, Nikola Tesla was probably not celebrated during his time either. But afterwards, they're like, holy shnikes. Yeah, I think so Neil deGrasse many. Tyson needs to stop making shows and maybe solve something. Solve uh, dude, ah, uh, yeah. You're, you're turned off of I, I I dislike that man. Wow. I dislike that man. I went from like, this is awesome. I like yeah. his booming voice. I like the like the 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 enthusiasm in which he explains the cosmos, mm -hmm. um, his love for it and stuff like this. And he, he's he's devolved, in my opinion, into like this narcissistic, flippant asshole. Mm. And uh, I can't listen to him. Yeah. You know who I like? That British guy with like gray white hair. Mm. Uh, have you? I, I forgot what his name is. Not Bill Nye. He's no. been he's been on 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 Joe. He's been on a lot of podcasts. Oh, like the physicist. Yeah. Yeah. He's wonderful. I really like him. Christopher something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's really good. I like him. He's enthused. He really is, and he's a little calm, and he doesn't constantly remind you how smart he is compared to you. It's also the way Neil deGrasse Tyson talks. It just seems that way. Yeah, find he, another way to talk. He'll bro. come around. He'll come around. I don't know, man. I think he's he's out here just like... It's like the same... You know what? I'm equating it to the same thing as that uh, J.R. R. Martin. Mm. The, the... What's it called? Yeah, Lord of the Rings guy? No, that's Tolkien. Okay, um, Lord of the Game of Thrones guy? Game of Thrones guy, yeah. It's, it's like once when he... Like this popularity of the show, mm -hmm. instead of being in his room typing right. on his DOS machinery, because yeah. he doesn't even use Word, he uses like just a word processor well, that's red. You know, with like 90 green. years old. And instead of doing that, he's just going around to Comic Cons and signing stuff and just talking about other things and whatnot. Hey, bro, we need you to buckle down. Bro, and he write had these books. nobody paying attention to him for a hot minute, yeah. you know, for like his whole life. Now he's on the doorstep of death. And it's 70 that right. happens And to he's you. like, I th you know what? I like cosplay girls. <laughs> yeah. I like taking pictures. You want to take a picture with me? I'm about to die. Right? Dude, he doesn't look healthy at all. No, man. Yeah, he's got some cool mobilities. God bless him. So, uh, yeah, these, uh, it kind of, like, it's fame. It's, it's cool. And, you know, you just got to go walk around. You're a little bit of a... I'll give you like two months before you call Nick Gas Tyson like a pigeon. <laughs> like, <laughs> I also think he fucks pigeons. I'm like, hey, man, I think so. Down. I think so. <laughs> oh, bastard. No, he's fine. Come on, he's from Harlem. This is he has definitely reached his ceiling and then beyond, you know. But yeah, I agree. It's of no consequence to me. The problem is like when you start talking about movies and other stuff. That's honestly, that's that's. If he could just stay in his lane, you even know, when he's in the lane, when he's in the lane, he does these things where he asks a question, mm -hmm. right? And then when you get it wrong, he's like, "No." It's just, you know what? It's the whole pattern. I just don't like. I just don't I like know, him man. anymore. I just I don't can, like him I anymore. It. it was also like quite a rise for him as well. Yeah, like, New York, a black astrophysicist. Yeah, and then you know, after some point, you're like, "Bro, hey man, pump your brakes." Hey man, it could be worse. <laughs> he's a huge step up from Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, I don't, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to Bill Nye after high school. He wasn't a scientist. That's kind of the... He wasn't a scientist. No, he's an engineer. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And his whole, you know, show and he was doing talks on stuff that mm -hmm. was not anywhere near his wheelhouse. Oh. So now you have to actually have an educated person doing well, it. Well, an engineer understands science and physics but it's not the science yeah i get it right so like he, he can he can do i don't know the way how i remember him is just he's just talking about like he can do this experiment at home uh, that's true he that's wasn't like other. ever yeah he's not walking really around expounding. talking yeah he's not talking about the cause trying to he probably doesn't wasn't arguing with anybody at any point he probably wasn't no definitely didn't have that attention on him of no he's just a guy with a bow tie that's talking about gravity or something he had some he had this he had some good good episodes, bro, but I was also like 12 or something. So Right. So you don't know if he'll still impress you? Who knows, man? Who man, knows? You know, uh, physics, buoyancy, chemistry, titration. Like everything is... everything is Photosynthesis. Every, everything is interesting if you get into it. Everything is interesting. If right. You, get into it. You, can get, you can get into anything. What, what do we get into this podcast? Bro, we got plenty of things. What do we got? I don't know. Do you want to... Let, let's... Uh, you want to see what it looks like for an uh, octopus um to dream yeah the white one yeah show me show me again all right here we go i'm on that octopus tip so here's she's asleep 
She sees a crab and her color starts to change a little bit. Is this, this is an op octopus just... Just dreaming. Then she just turns dreaming. all dark. It's changing colors, going from white octopus to black, do black that to blue. When they leave the bottom. It's really loud. This is a camouflage, like... I put it down, you can put it back down. Oh, okay. Subdued a crab and now she's um, going to sit there and eat it. And she doesn't want anyone to notice her. It's a very unusual behavior to see the color come and go on her mantle like that. I mean, just to be able to... I love the nerddom this guy has. See all the different color patterns just flashing one after another. It's fascinating. You know, I would love it if people that did that. Sleeping. Like, what? bro, you're just changing colors. We're all camping. You're, you're like, bro, you got horny at night. It's kind of weird. I don't want to sleep. But yeah, day. if she's Hey, man, what are you going to take? Nasty. You know what? There's other... Op you know, you don't have to change color. You just need to... There's a, there's a physical change. Mm. Right? So it's about the same thing. That's hard to notice sometimes. I mean, it depends on the dude, I guess. They're like, why are you looking? I was like, your forehead, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's fascinating. I asked, that, how, yeah. The thing is, is that like the speed at which it changes not only its uh, color, mm -hmm. but it also changes the, the octopus. It changes its, its texture. It looks like rough coral or smooth sand. Yeah. I don't know. Like, is it crinkling its skin as well as the color, or is it just all color and it still remains smooth? I think you wasted an aquarium with your sand digging fish. Oh no! Here, look. I looked into it. They just escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is the, the amount of money you like the amount of money you would have to spend on a tank for you to be able to keep one of the like the smaller uh, octopuses. Mm -hmm. It it would be like in the realm of thousands of dollars Jeez. so uh yeah i wouldn't be able to do it this is also weird it's like this thing is you know supposedly smart you know they don't live very long they live so short you can't so be sad. successful living for like four to five years right yeah i mean it could all it, it could you know maybe it would it, also they don't work together no they like to be by themselves but if yeah if you're gonna be by yourself and live for a short time you're not gonna have a great career you know, like <laughs> it's not much time to learn things yeah because apparently they're super intelligent but yeah you know, they really are you need to cooperate right and live a bit longer than five years i think so yeah uh, and, and then not have people making calamari out of you and man, frying you every now and then they taste so good though you know what most things fried do but anything with like oh this is octopus ink this i'm like it's rarely good octopus octopus ink you ever had Oh, yeah, yeah, I've had it before. It's like bitter. Yeah, it's not for me. No, it's not for me. Also, it 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 feels like you're cooking the thing in its own pee. Mm, I like how you yeah eat. You know what? It is one of their fluids, right? Yeah, it's and it's not like one of the ones that gives them nourishment. So if you like cooked them in blood, mm. you'd be like, all right, well, I get it. I don't like caviar either. I'm just literally eating embryos, like eggs, fish yep. eggs. But don't we have that all the time in sushi? Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a pop pop. Yeah, I get it. You don't. I, you don't. You I don't, like I don't get, You don't get the roll with just the egg on. By the way, that's apparently very good for your brain. It's what? like a. It's like a nootropic. Really? Yeah. The 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 eggs. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's apparently really good for your brain. That's unfortunate for the fish. Yeah, Google Google it. I guess because yeah. they're gonna be making supplements out of that. They've been making sub. Damn. Dude, everything becomes a like. There's so many things that becomes a supplement. You can eat anything; it's a supplement. Yeah. Other man. than the stuff we eat, which is not good for you, like <laughs> chips. It really isn't. My kid tried to eat a jalapeno chip, and I thought he wouldn't like it, and he's like trying to eat it, like he's trying to bite. And I'm like, oh, get, I like, I like a dog. I'm just getting out of your mouth. Right, but right, right. Kids love that stuff. So he's tasted the jalapeno. I gave him a lemon, mm -hmm. thinking he would be like, ah, started eating the lemon. So yeah. I don't know what's happening in his brain. Okay, fair enough. You see that kid that was eating an onion like an apple? Dude. And he and he bite into it, and he'd be like crying. That's funny. And then he would chew it, and he'd go back for another bite. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> hey, kid. Okay, so killer whales are apparently out there mm -hmm. removing livers from sharks. Wolf, dude. I know you said small deer, but this crazy ass deer be doing crazy things. So wh killer whales. That's the same thing wolves do, by the way. Eat liver. I think a lot of uh, a lot of animals eat organs first. So yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah, we should probably open with that as well. But uh yeah, killer whales. 
it just seems that like you know when it, when a cat takes down a buffalo mm-hmm. uh and then you know and, and it cuts over the stomach mm-hmm. and you know you can it, it's it's easier to see how they would find their way into the into like the organs mm-hmm. but for a killer whale you, you got to do all your digging with only your mouth i you there's know, no hands there's there no paws of this i'd love to see how they go about this all right cuz i've never even seen a whale against a shark which must happen regularly. Right, right, right. So, I've seen sharks with like bites on them. They've been orcas have been recorded eating only organs. Killer whales are some of the top predators. They squeeze it out like toothpaste. Say a word. Okay, so apparently this is a video. Let's have a look and see. Let me see if this video shows. Put it on the screen, bro. Hold on. I'm being gonna, selfish. I'm just gonna. You could do that here. Thank you. Where's the liver? Go back to that. It's like pretty easy to eyeball. There it is. Uterus, kidney, liver. Okay. I mean, it, it's pretty packed in there, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's not. It's not the easiest thing to find. Like, if I, I'd bite in there, I'd probably hit the kidney or the pancreas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The way how? Oh, going hunting next month. By the way, with a guy in Algonquin. Okay. Jesus, blood. Jeez. Looks so friendly. Yeah, it really is. All right. I don't think he's going to have videos, judging by... Shark. He's too too cheery. The guy's too cheery for them to... uh... Nope, that's pictures. That's fake. That was a dolphin. That's that's for real, though. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we're seeing any of it. Drop a shark in into an aquarium. We gotta figure this you out. You can't do that. Yeah, no. all all great white sharks die in an aquarium. That's the point. That that way you get to see what the whale does. And it's the same thing as like putting like a like a Viking in a in a cage or something. It's like I'm I'm trying to I'm trying yeah. to conquer. But like if you put it in an aquarium with a couple of sharks, with the whole intention being these sharks are gonna take out its liver. You know, you just need a few minutes. Oh, you t- you're telling me like drop a shark in with orcas? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and see it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem is is that orcas that live in captivity they don't really react in the same way that regular. So what orcas you do? Are. You find a pod in yeah. the wild. Mm-hmm. Just drop a shark. In. I know it's gonna be hard, but you can figure it out. Come just, on, Charles Brunson. Just uh, <laughs> can you imagine just airlifting a shark and just looking for a pod of orcas, dude. Worst day just, for the shark. <laughs> and then just like clunk and drop it right down. Oh my lord. Do you know that there's great, great white sharks when if they get into an area where there's orcas mm-hmm. and the orca, uh, uh, they will leave the area and not come back for almost like years. Wow, good. They're like that is their territory. We don't. We, we, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going so, with orcas. <laughs> a lot of um, sea creatures, including other whales, orcas are. You know, they're a problem. Yeah, they're a problem. They're the Black Air Forces. They're that guy I love uh, who does all those nature videos is like the Black Air Forces of the uh, of the sea. Mm, what do you mean? Oh, I guess. You, so, you know, like the meme, I guess, around Black Air Forces? Nope. It's it's like criminal behavior. Uh, like criminals wear Black Air Forces. Gotcha. And these are the, the, the Black Air Forces of the sea. Gotcha. Because they're out there just messing with everything. Yeah, you never see Black Air Forces. You do sometimes. That makes sense. With the gold side? Uh, I guess. I guess. I yeah, guess so. Yeah. Yeah, man. Killer whales. You know, they weren't there, and then all of a sudden they were. They they were friggin' these were like. I wonder if they were just like a holes of land, mm-hmm. and that became. You know, were they already trying to run stuff? <laughs> right. Those those asshole deers. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then they got banished. The woolly mammoths were like, "Hey, listen, not on Earth. You t- Maybe you, yeah. you take those shenanigans and tomfoolery, and you bring it to the ocean." So after whatever hit us, yeah. right? These guys were like, all right, these man land mammals are dead. We just found this guy's legs. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> where's the rest of it? So like, let's go to the water. Yeah. Take while we're developing there, you know, or not even. We're like literally just trying to survive and yeah. not die of childbirth. Yeah. That's probably the first few thousand right. generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people are letting go of their legs, you yeah. know, keeping their kneecaps. They're just training out there like Rambo. Moving their <laughs> nose hole from here to the top of their head. Yeah, they they would be a problem if they were uh, if they were on land at the same time. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we would just get rid of them all just the way we do with most other things. That I mean, that it dangerous. depends. It depends on... No, no, not now. Obviously, yeah. we got guns and shit. Right. But if back in club days... Right. Uh, yeah, there's not much you can do. No, it'd be tough. Yeah. It'd be tough. Man. That was a... Thank God we're living now. You have a gross... You can Uber food over. Right. You know? Dude. Can you if, imagine you got to go out to get food? Like when you wake up in mm-hmm. your cave, mm-hmm. right? Next to a dying fire. Right. With no fridge. Right. To, like when you wake up, you're like... All right, today is a battle of life or death. Right. Right? I got to go out there with four other dudes, and one of them I'm pretty sure is a psychopath. Yeah. And, and that's why we like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we, we manage. We have to manage right. with him. Yep. Right? We don't let him close to the children. Yep. Right? We make sure that everyone's... There's always some guy who sleeps next to him to make yeah. sure that he doesn't... Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't roam into someone else's cave and just right. kills people. But uh, he's really good in a pitch. Yep. Right, especially when other cave people come to our thing. Mm-hmm. Oh man, he loses I've, his mind. He's yeah. so territorial. <laughs> he eats their livers. Yeah, and we really rather he eat their liver than our liver. That dude existed in every small group. Dude, there is a there is a biological necessity yeah. for the for the psychopath. It's the th- same person in, in a gang nowadays. Yeah. It's just yeah. like yeah, Charlie, bring Charlie. Yeah, You're like really, we're gonna bring. Yeah, like you watch The Godfather, and there was just like. Uh, I forgot the most loyal guy, but he's at the beginning trying to practice. I forgot his name, something Barzini or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these people exist and they're useful, man. Yeah. They're useful. And you got, you, you, you sharpen your spears mm-hmm. and your knives and whatever. He's sharpening his teeth. Right. <laughs> he just... And then, and then you got to go and then just persistent. You got to find the animal. Mm-hmm. And then maybe you throw a couple spears at it. You, you injure it. It bleeds a little bit. Then you run after it mm-hmm. for another 15 to 20 kilometers with no shoes no shoes no and while you, it might cross into other territory of other things that you don't want to be around yeah other like, predatory animals are now following it you yeah. might be there you're like shit yeah a bear smells this blood mm-hmm. that's its meal now yeah you're not fighting it's, a bear it's gonna claim a yeah it'll definitely claim that yeah you wolves mm-hmm. you hear wolves get it bro did you see a pic like every once in a while i get i get uh i i, I get shocked there was a, there was a picture it was like a, a dog beside a wolf mm-hmm. uh and I've it was a wolves. big dog yeah yeah i got to see a nearly wild wolf uh, a few times at the african not lion safari the bowmanville cat sanctuary they have like newly rescued wolves i don't know what that means i think a car hit it okay and the paws on this thing mm-hmm. are like that big, are like as big. Basically, your hand mm-hmm. is a paw. Mm-hmm. It's and their head. I don't even know what to give you a scale, but yeah, it's and also they don't they don't seem to like. They're not friendly. Like yeah, they're not no. trying to be friendly. No. <laughs> this this is my favorite picture. Uh, shit, it didn't show. Oh, yeah, all right, regular dog. Dang. Fucking wolf. <laughs> That's real, eh? Yeah, it's real. Dang. Look at the, the just the snout. Yeah, the snout is the size of the dude's, the little dog's. Paw, dude. My that lord, <laughs> so big. Here's another one. Uh, this is a hus- this is a husky versus a. Yeah, that's a husky, definitely. Yeah, that's crazy. And not friendly at all. Just looks right no. through you. No, not friendly at all. That's that's the other thing. Just really, just really mean. Click on this one, the all the doggos. Wolf, dog, coyote, jackal. You know what? I we don't talk about jackals enough. No, I only know them as a like a name for an assassin in a movie. Right. I've seen that one. Bruce mm-hmm. Willis, God bless him. Yeah. Foxes. Foxes are so small. I saw also, one running. Yeah. Uh we come back from Tarawi. Mm-hmm. There's one running uh, on the street. Yeah. Yeah, he's small. Saw one outside of yeah. your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I got the same one. It might be the same one. Maybe just going to gym. He's just following Yasin <laughs> and Uncle. To... Jackal don't get any love because you don't really hear about nothing about jackals. No. Also, Jackal. I... Yeah. What a name. That's a cool name. Jackal. Yeah. They're all cool names. Coyote. These Except are... For dog. These are... These are... Yeah, other than dog, these are names that white people, when they get enough money and freedom, name their kids. It's my son, Wolf. Yeah. Wolf Blitzer. You know, you know what's a it, it would be and his such sister a disappointing. Jackal, <laughs> Jackal Blitzer. <laughs> It'd be such a disappointment if your your kid's named Wolf, but also like 
just not wolf at all dude a lot of people you know they get these names you got to carry your name folks yeah you gotta you gotta take some of the attributes of your name yeah um so there's a there's an account uh on on instagram it's the it's called uh roman helmet guy okay yes yeah he's fantastic oh my god he's roman the whole time yeah 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 i love his his like cadence and and the the way how he speaks and stuff is really cool he just put one up for or not just but he he put one up for khalid ibn walid Mm -hmm. i saw that whose nickname was the sword of allah right (laughs) right apparently that nickname was given either by god or the prophet which is equal equal the same thing dude what a what a name dude that's a name do you want to watch it again um, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, it's Ramadan. Let me put it up. <laughs> let me put it up. I it's love, Ramadan. Love this guy. His cadence is right on the way yeah. he talks about things. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like ah, uh. he has a he has got the costume on. He, he doesn't. Blink. He just put on that helmet and never never took it off. All right, here we go. When the greatest undefeated commander in military history led a devastating cavalry charge against the early Muslims, he routed their forces and handed them their first defeat. But after converting to Islam, he became their greatest champion and was dubbed the Sword of Allah by the Prophet Muhammad himself. Reuniting the Arab tribes, he took on two of the world's greatest empires simultaneously, saying he preferred a day on the battlefield to a wedding night with the most beautiful woman. Challenging every commander he ever faced to single combat, if they accepted his duel, he would dispatch them with ease. And if they refused, he would personally hunt them down in the ensuing battle, once breaking his sword against the enemy nine times in a single day. When the unstoppable Arab forces advanced, Advanced upon the Euphrates Valley, the soldiers of the Persian Empire chained themselves together to prevent the possibility of retreat. But surrounding their forces, he turned their constricting chains into their coffins. Wheeling around through the Arabian desert to confront the Eastern Roman Empire, his 25,000 men were outnumbered 3 to 1 at the Battle of Yarmouk. Pushed back again and again by the Roman army, the courageous commander could always be found where the fighting was thickest, and even the wives of the Muslim men joined in to prevent their lines from failing. Finally, after three days of ferocious fighting, he led a cavalry charge that broke through the Roman ranks and utterly annihilated his fearsome foe. By the time he was finished, he'd go undefeated in over 50 battles, bring both the Roman and Persian empires to their knees, and pass away peacefully in his own bed. When you can crush two of the world's greatest empires without taking a single L, they don't just call you the greatest undefeated commander. They call you Khalid ibn Walid. If I was in a battle and my wife was there just <laughs> spearing somebody, I'd be like, oh, subhanAllah. Dude, like... Yeah, I got goosebumps well, all throughout that. It's the whole thing. I know. Also, like, uh, how how amazing of a commander you need to be for you to have that... Because how good you are in, yeah. like, influences your people. Oh, yeah. They right? Don't... When they're like, oh, we only have 25,000 and we're going up against hundreds of thousands. Yeah. And he's like, it'll be okay. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, if these know. sports didn't exist, man. If these sports, you can can you imagine LeBron? You know, dude. Probably got LeBron. Yeah, problem. He took the Cavaliers to the championship. Imagine what he could do with an army. Honestly, dude. Yeah, he'd be taking over whatever's beside Cleveland. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Cleveland's growing. <laughs> Urban sprawl. LeBron. Great. LeBron stabs. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Check that. Uh, check that account out, people. It's a. It's a good one. What's it's, it called again? Um, it's called Roman Helmet Guy. Roman Helmet Guy. Yeah. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Roman Helmet guy. Yeah, he's got he's got a fair bit. There's and it's not just like there's there's uh, U.S. like fighters. They even he has got one uh, about a whale. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw like I just sat there for a while. I'm like these are all fun. <laughs> so great. And they're short too, like two minutes each. How did he get? Uh, like I want to know like how he developed that that cadence. Because what he does is that you know at the end of the video you're getting you're gonna get like this dramatic. Uh, culmination to you're gonna hear his name. First, mm-hmm. he's gonna be like, they don't only call you this, yeah. And then he gives you the name. So if you watch so his good. earlier stuff, yeah, he wasn't doing it. He like wasn't that. doing. I it think like he that, just yeah. kind of at one point he had a subject that required him to do that. And yeah. I was like, him, I think he was like, oh, got it. This is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah. me the helmet. So fantastic. <laughs> there's a there's another guy who does it for sports uh, players. Okay. And um. It's a, it's, I think it's a New Yorker mm-hmm. and he has a different type of cadence mm-hmm. and he, he does like Allen Iverson, like who's the, the biggest problem on the NFL, the thing uh, on the NFL teams. Um, that's fun. You know, it's like this guy was doing cocaine the day before the, the games and he'd yeah. come in and he would do this, 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 this. Baseball pitcher that had LSD while pitching a no hitter. Oh my God. Yeah. I'd be so confused. Oh my God. Why are we even doing this? <laughs> Uh, I was seeing a breakdown on why it's why be- baseball is considered one of the most difficult sports. Is it because of a round bat and a round ball? Uh, no, it's just the window of your reaction time mm. is very, very small. Right. So the the ball travels before your brain mm-hmm. can can 
can clock the ball, the ball is already mostly the way to you. Right. And so you have a point one five uh time second uh for you to make the call on what to swing on mm-hmm. and then catch it like it could be anywhere over here oh th- for the make... catcher yeah that's no the no, no. i mean j- then you have, like oh for you make, to like connect make the call if it's going to be in the strike zone right. but then actually make contact yeah, with yeah, it yeah. in a direction you want to yeah i played baseball and it was like you know these kids weren't as good as throwing yet in mm-hmm. terms of uh just, you know middle school high school right yeah, it it's hard to give it the respect because it is a slower sport. It's like, you know, pace-based. Right. But uh, when you look at a Pujols or whatever, Aaron Judge, you're like, yeah, no wonder these guys who are the best are giants mm-hmm. and, like, so strong. And being able to uh, – steroid, you need the steroids. <laughs> I think you need the steroids Does sometimes. the st- steroids uh, help your reaction time? Yeah, well, if it uh, – first off, yes, is the correct Probably? answer. Probably. Uh, it definitely helps with the reaction time. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've known people who've done steroids. Yeah. And one, you use beta blockers, which just calms you down. Yeah, yeah. But imagine if you were able to make contact with something and it was going to go X far, but now it can go X further. I mean, that I, that I understand, but yeah. I'm talking more of a, like your reaction time. You know what? I guess if you have fast twitch muscles, I want to say it does. Cause if you have fast twitch muscles, I don't know if it helps in every situation, but mm. when it involves, uh, at the end, you got to make contact with it. Then, yeah, I would think so. Even if you're able to start a split second faster, mm-hmm. I think it definitely would. Because if if it, if it did give, I don't think, it, in my opinion, I don't think it probably gives that much of a reaction. We can just Google this. It's just like um, if you're gonna apply it to a car, then no. Yeah. Because like that's a whole different mechanics of what you need to do. And no, but you need you need very fast. Like you need reaction I know, times. But if you're not. I agree. I don't think it would help as much compared to a sport where, like, you have to also deliver uh, something powerful at the end, whether it's fighting or hitting a baseball. Right. Compared to like driving, it's uh, the reaction time question would be mostly around. I mean, uh, I'm not a race car driver, but I Mm -hmm. would imagine it would be uh, you're picking your braking point because you're you like if you brake point something later than the Mm -hmm. guy beside you. You, that translates into like yeah. X amount. If of you have pain. to break super hard at the end of it as well, maybe. But yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. That I think if it's just th- that minuscule, I don't know. And yeah. I bet you they don't test. Bet I do test. wonder. Yeah. But like, they can't. They can't. They also need to be super light. That's the other thing. So they can't well, just be. Well, steroids don't have to make you bigger. Oh yeah, you could just. You could just. There's run. different hits. You know, I've gone through some YouTube channels. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things they can do. So, yeah, I wonder. You. I'm sure we should get a we should get somebody on the podcast that's like a, a race car driver. They don't have to be the best. No, they don't. I thought you were gonna say we should get someone who uh, knows uh, knows some steroids. Uh, that might be easier to do. Yeah, it's probably easier to get. But they won't know about the car part. Yeah, that's true. You need a, yeah, because if you're in the sport, you know what I did. You know, jujitsu. I think Adderall a, would be great. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, just, you start, just like stop paying like, attention every now and then. <laughs> no, no, like the, the the Adderall is all about focus, right? Yeah, to yeah, yeah, super focus. So if you just focus where your tunnel vision on just the track alone, like just completely everything becomes. Yeah, we blurry. know enough people on Adderall. We need a race car driver and be mm-hmm. like, hey, what in your business? What's what are the dirty people doing? Because <laughs> I can tell you what they're doing in jujitsu. I can't tell you what they're doing in race car. They're stuff. putting lotion on. That's man. That's a big part of it is yeah. putting getting yourself slippery as a seal yeah yeah yeah. you yeah. put it on you put it on and then you just dry you sit there and let yourself dry up just dry all the way up you'll be like you'll be greased up Did yeah. you, is it isn't it not considered illegal i know oh, it's, yeah, totally it's illegal, illegal. Okay. it's illegal yeah but like you know it's hard to prove as well right look how slippery he is it's like that's my sweat right but like if you don't... if you smell like jasmine it's also a hard thing to prove like right. we smelled him herb <laughs> dean comes in <laughs> Like, and he goes, you know, <laughs> they come and like wipe you down and you get you two off. points taken away. Oh my God. I wonder if they, they, they should have like a thing where like when you're coming out from the uh, tunnel, mm-hmm. when you're for your walk up, you have they to just spray you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just, you had to go through like a, like a small waterfall. That would be probably good. Yeah. But, uh, people have been accused. Mm-hmm. Nate Marquardt was accused and Herb, this is what he did. Mm-hmm. He took a napkin. Mm-hmm. He, uh, wiped him. Mm-hmm. And then he uh, let it dry, and he said it wiped clean. And I was like, I don't know how scientific that is. <laughs> but, you know, Herb Dean, gold standard. Well, I mean, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, they don't really test for lotion. No, they don't. I'm sure they've done it. 
Uh, lotioned up, yeah. Yeah, so uh, apparently there was one big thing. Where, uh, Gordon Ryan went up against another guy, and, and Gordon Ryan uh, uh, accused him of being, of lotioning up before, mm. before a bout. No. You know. You know what? If you're in the business of grabbing people and they feel different, I would. Yeah. You know, I, you know dude. You, know, I, yeah. you would know. Yeah. I would. I would be able to tell when somebody does steroids. Mm -hmm. They're just unusual. Like yeah. the, not that their strength was unusual. When you grip them, yeah. their body felt very different. Yeah. Like their muscles were hard. Yeah. In a way that is not normal for a, a human. <laughs> like I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Maybe like, I don't. I don't know if I t if I've done that or I, it, because I, gra I was grappling against some college level. Uh, uh, Were you wearing wrestler? a gi? Uh, yeah. Because it's, it's harder to feel things through a gi, but I'm, go ahead. Yeah. Because uh, I'm grabbing... This wrestler, yeah. he felt a whole lot more sturdy than anyone else. But then he was also a wrestler, so I just chalked it up for wrestling. I didn't could chalk be. it up for for steroids. I could be burst merching, but like I, you know, I, we were mainly like almost naked. People like you, you would take your shirt off eventually because it's it gets so wet that yeah. it's just gross to roll with somebody. Yeah, and yeah, I rather you keep your shirt on. I would like it um, yeah. as well, but on. some people didn't care what I liked. I <laughs> but I would just say like, hey, man, you got some pimples on your back. Right. And they were like, oh, okay, I'm like, I'm going to put on your shirt. And yeah. they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. Because sometimes they're like, as you, long as they know you have a preference. Right. You got a ster you got steroid pimples on your back, bro. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It was weird. Mm. It was weird. This was very competitive. Extreme yeah, control where, you went, where you went was they, mad competitive. They were Nobody was doing it for like self-defense or just to get better. Right. Because... <laughs> I'm a student of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> they were, no. they're like, no, I'm trying to make money off of this. Everybody was, uh, there's no money. It's just the tournaments. You want to do a tournament. You want to compete. You want to go out with, because a bunch of people would go and compete and you want to, you want to be in that group. Yeah. And yeah, you just, you know, that's how you live your life. It was like the movie Fight Club. Like Fight Club became the reason you cut your nails or got a haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that's what jujitsu was like. Dude, everyone needs a thing. And one of them... And, and Jiu Jitsu is such an all encompassing thing that can create multiple underpinnings in your life mm -hmm. in such a way that if you, if you dedicated your life to be able to do it, to be a good Jiu Jitsu player, a lot of other things in your life kind of works out, yeah. right? You eat healthy, you mm -hmm. got to train all the time, you want to get strong, so you go to the gym yep. so that you don't get smurfed on the on the mat. Yeah. Then you know your cardio goes up, yeah. you lose you, you lose weight, you, your your brain is nice and also like, you you like, definitely get married because women are like. They want somebody who can manage, who can manage themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it sure. is. I can definitely tell you that it's a thing. Yeah, no, it. Yeah, being being capable and, and whatnot yeah. for sure. And then you do all of those things, and then it's not just that your jujitsu got better, but all of these other aspects of your life got better. You ate, you're eating a little bit cleaner. You're doing whatever. Even if you're, even if you're a weekend warrior, like you go every weekend and you and you work out, the the benefits on the back end is a fair bit. And you're right. My, my nail cutting regimen mm -hmm. is so much more like specific and on point when, yeah. when you're actually going to the I gym. would get mad at people if they if guys scratch my like, cut your nails, friggin' hobbyist. Bro, the worst yeah. the worst is getting scratched by a toenail. Mm, dude, yeah. I hate it. It's a strong nail too. Yeah, it really is. Oof. I was just putting someone in lockdown and I'm like, but what the fuck? is that a blade on your foot? <laughs> yeah. The worst is uh somebody's hair in your mouth. I'm okay with that, I think. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't like people's I mean, I, I've had it a few times if it's fine, but I normally roll with people with very little hair. Uh, the worst for me is in the summertime uh, when someone gets mount and then their their sweat drops into my eye or mm, in my mouth. I've had that. That burns. That burns. So the eye thing is, is, is bad, but like when you're in your mouth, you're like, uh, this couldn't get more intimate. Yeah. It might as well be <laughs> spitting right into my... Jeez. While I'm like washing up and I go home, like, why do, why do I keep coming to this thing? Do people walk around naked in your changing room? No, thank the Lord. Oh my God, that was a constant thing. Really? It just oh my balls God. out? Bro, so many shalongs. Really? Oh eh? my God. All the time. All the time. Damn. Like man. every time I would go, mm. you got really good at keeping your eyes like right here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, you got to bend down and like put on your shoes. Now you're dude, crotch level. Constant. I just, yeah. I don't even want to talk about it in Ramadan. But my uh, my to... problem is uh, people who don't wear flip flops in the washroom. I mean, in the change room slash washroom. Right. Right. Yeah. P people take a pee. Yeah. It splashes on the ground. Right. You walk on your bare feet on it, the floor. Yeah. And then you're taking this urine and you're bringing it to the mats. And then you're wondering why people are getting sick. I know. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Just wear some flip flops. Flops. What the hell's wrong with you? Savages. Just what? Oh. You want to just cut out their liver? 
Like I like an orca. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. On that note, this has been episode 386. Yeah, I just wanted to double check. It's been 386. People, uh, we're doing great. Out of, we've done this for about seven years or so. And uh, during Ramadan, we normally always devolve into talking about food. Mm -hmm. But your boys have become professional enough yeah. to talk about orcas, livers, and warriors yeah, man. instead of food. You know, um, we're proud of our development. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for listening. We'll be back in a week. Good night. Go.